Hey guys, I'm Nick aka The One of Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install this right here, the Finder Compass. And what this mod allows you to do is use your compass, a normal Minecraft compass, to do a lot more, like find diamonds and mob spawners and all of that awesome stuff. It's a really cool mod, so let's go ahead and install it. First off, you want to go to the first link in the description down below, atomicstriker.net slash findercompass.php or first link down below. Once you're down there, you want to scroll all the way down until you see right here, 1.8 Minecraft version. You want to then click on download. It will then take you up to AdFly. Where I have to say is if you have any issues with AdFly, simply right click and reload. If that doesn't work, go how to enable cookies and whatever browser you have. Go to the tutorials there, come back and it should work. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do. AdFly, some of these mod creators have to use to make a little bit of money back for all of the work they put in their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip ad here. And, uh,. It will go ahead and download it right there, which we do want to keep it if it asks you for that. Now, we're not done downloading yet. We still need to download Forge. To download that, go to the second link down below. It will take you here. You either want to hover over 1.8 and make sure it's bolted. If it is, you're good to go. If it's not, simply click on it. Once you've done that, you want to go over here to Download Recommended and then click on Installer. And it'll take you off to Add Focus. And just like Add Fly, if you have any issues, right-clicking and reload it should work. And then Enabling Cookies should fix it if that doesn't. Now... If that doesn't, then I can do, sorry, something Forge has to use to make a little bit of money off of Forge. Nevertheless, click skip in the top right, and then you want to keep Forge. Now, if we minimize, we've got two things right here on our desktop. One, Forge. Two, Finder Compass. we got to start with Forge. So right-click on it, and then you want to open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. Then you want to make sure Install Client is clicked, and then click OK. It'll go through, download some stuff, do some things, and woohoo, successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK and then drag this over to the side. You can delete it after you've launched Minecraft and closed out of it. Let's go ahead and the Windows key and our keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent app data percent percent app data percent. Hit enter. It will take us here where they want to go to dot Minecraft and then you want to right click in the white space, create a new folder and title it mods. Now you may already have this mods folder I just created. If you do, you don't need to create it, but I did because 99% of people don't, as I don't right now. So there you go, mods folder created. Go ahead and double click on it and drag Finder Compass on into it. Now all we've got to do to finish this off is open up our handy dandy Minecraft launcher here. And once the Minecraft launcher is open, we want to go to the profile we want to play. In my case, that's going to be Nick's Games. If we hit edit profile, you notice mine already says release 1.8 Forge. Yours probably won't though. Yours will probably say use latest version or release 1.8.8. Something like that. Whatever it says doesn't matter. Click on it and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see release 1.8 Forge. Click on that. Click save profile and click play. And now go through, download some things, and open Minecraft 1.8 with Forge installed and Finder Compass installed. Watch fell off my desk. Booyah! I think that's a great way to wrap it all up, don't you? I think it is. So as you can see, we're launching in here. And if we go into Mods, we'll be able to see Finder Compass. And then if we launch into Creative, keep in mind, when I do this, I'm going to get an error. This right here. You won't get that error. That's simply because I've installed a mod and then removed it. If you remove a mod without, you know, yeah, if you remove a mod and then launch into a world with blocks in it, it will could glitch it out. But it didn't, as you can see. So now if we simply go in here and type compass, same old normal Minecraft compass as you can see, but now it should be supercharged. There you go. By simply clicking, you can switch the mode of the compass to shiny stones, working man's mineables, and all of that awesome stuff. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is a awesome little mod to help you find things easier but still find them yourself does that make sense you've still got to look for them you still got to dig for them so it makes it still challenging but just a bit easier to find some things so anyway guys again hope you enjoyed i'm nick's games give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make awesome videos on gaming and everything else every single day of the week i'm nick's games again i've said that like seven times and i'm out guys peace and there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got my first ever game in Halo 5 Guardians. Yes, I recorded it, and yes, I uploaded it to YouTube, so go check it out. And down the other way, we've got how to install more TNT in Minecraft 1.8. That video shows you, well, how to get the more TNT mod, which created that awesome nether style thing in my overworld. So go check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. I also got this new... Long sleeve blue shirt. Kind of nice, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> see you guys later. Bye!